What up guys, your boy Quake and the never ending saga between the game and 50 Cent continues for a new chapter. So unless you've been living under a rock, you know the game has been going on an insane media run basically after he realized he wasn't invited to perform at the NFL Super Bowl halftime show where 50 Cent, Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar perform. And during this media run, he's been basically disrespecting Dr. Dre, disrespecting 50 Cent, and even Eminem. And then when he dropped his new album, Drillmatic, he released an over 10 minute song dissing Eminem, taking some shots at Dre, some shots at 50. And of course, it made its rounds through the internet and everyone has been reacting to it. And just last night, the 2022 Emmy Awards winners list was announced. And of course, NFL Super Bowl halftime show with Dr. Dre and all of them got nominated and they actually ended up winning. They won three awards, which is insane. And of course, 50 Cent reacted to it by posting an Emmy Award photo. And in the caption, he said, I just won my Emmy Award bunch of clapping hands emojis for the Super Bowl halftime show, LOL. And after this, 50 Cent, of course, had to rub it in the game's face because the game has been going around on media outlets just complaining about how he wasn't invited to the Super Bowl show. So, of course, 50 being his normal petty self, posted a photo of the game on Instagram and posted the caption saying, no caption needed with a bunch of laughing emojis. And then roughly like five minutes later, he removed the post off his Instagram. The game, though, saw that and immediately responded to that, posting a photo of 50 Cent. This is a photo that he did with GQ. And in his caption, he said, no caption needed with a bunch of laughing emojis. He said, spicy ass guy, what's your eyebrow doing? LOL, your bow tie blowing in the wind. LOL. He then removed that post as well. And then 50 responded to that post by posting a GIF of him driving off, which a lot of people use as responses to things and then in the caption he said oh no i'm sorry you didn't get one meaning the emmy trophy then he clowned the game for only doing 18,000 copies the first week which i think he actually did roughly 25,000 from what i saw but regardless it's around there and then he said if you need someone to talk to i'm here for you lol the game saw this and responded under 50 cents post in the comments and this is where i feel like it goes too far and really goes below the belt when you're mentioning someone's family, especially if it had nothing to do with their family. And this is what Game said in the comments. Text your oldest son and tell him you love him, bum. I don't respect no guy on earth who treat his own child like an op. You've been a bitch. Now, from what I can recall, I don't remember 50 ever going at the game's kids. Imagine if 50 did that, the game would be very upset. So this is where I feel like Game takes it too far. He mentions family issues that is left for personal issues that is not anything that game should be commenting on and i disagree with this on every level it doesn't matter if it's 50 doesn't matter if it's game it's really below the belt and that's where things go way too far and then get really disrespectful and then things happen that we don't want happening and what happened after this is what made my whole year because 50 cent did something insane that i was not expecting so on our page diverse mentality we posted that Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Kendrick, and Mary J. Blige, as well as 50, made history. 50 ended up seeing this post and reposted it on his own Instagram page with our logo and everything. And I lost my mind. I was walking around the house, jumping around, going crazy for like an hour. I didn't sit down. I was reposting. I couldn't believe it with my own eyes. But he posted it. Here's the post. And in the caption, he said, Green Light Gang, first Emmy, many more to come. You know the vibes which was insane, man. Uh, it's a huge milestone for us. We appreciate all the support that everybody's been showing. And yeah, it was just wild for us to see that amazing, amazing repost. And shout out to 50 and his team for doing that. We really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this 50 Cent and game situation. If you don't know the history between 50 Cent and the game, go ahead and check out my video, 50 versus Game, Who Really Won. It breaks down their whole beef history all the way up until 2017 when the video was made. And I'm currently working on the game versus Eminem, what really happened. So be on the lookout for that, as well as other videos I got coming very soon. Thank you so much for the support and see you guys in the next video. That's it for today's video. If you guys want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com 
forward slash diverse mentality. For just $3 a month, you can get my videos uncut and raw the way I intended them to be, but couldn't because of YouTube. Plus, you also get access to our Discord community, where we have a great community talking about hip hop and various other things. It's very dope. So only $3 a month, I'd really appreciate the support. Also follow us on social media at QuakeGW and at Diverse Mentality. Thank you so much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.